Welcome to another bite-sized episode of Cream Rises Up. The march towards sustainable power systems is gaining a lot of traction these days. There is a growing need for economical, large-scale battery backup systems that can provide power when the power that comes from the sun is inadequate or completely unacceptable. At the moment, lithium-ion batteries dominated the market. From smartphones to EVs are dependent upon these electrochemical cells. However, they are currently too expensive for most of these kinds of sustainable energy storage applications. Recently, we heard an encouraging discovery originated from the well-known Massachusetts Massachusetts Institute of Technology concerning a new battery concept that uses aluminum and sulfur as its two electrode material with a molten salt electrolyte in between. This is fascinating because these two elements, aluminum and sulfur, are abundant and inexpensive unlike lithium, which could help to eliminate the issues plaguing the current energy storing mechanisms. There were several parties collaborated with MIT to develop this game-changing battery concept. These include researchers from Oak Ridge National Laboratory and the University of Louisville in the US and the University of Water in Canada. Chinese institutions such as Yunnan, Peking and Wuhan universities are also involved in this research. Donald Sadaway, who is the John F. A. Elliott Professor Emeritus of Materials Chemistry at MIT and 15 other researchers masterminded this new and low-cost battery concept. During the interview with MIT News, Professor Donald Sadaway said, quote, I wanted to invent something that was better, much better, than lithium-ion batteries for small-scale stationary storage and ultimately for automotive. It's a well-known fact that lithium-ion batteries are not the best when it comes to transportation because they are expensive and their electrolyte is combustible. In light of this fact, Professor Sadaway said that he started sifting through the periodic table, looking for cheap, earth-abundant metals that might be able to replace lithium. The professor found out that iron, the most widely employed metal, lacks the electromechanical characteristics needed to fabricate batteries. However, aluminum carries a trait that is needed to manufacture batteries despite being much cheaper and plentiful compared to iron. After the initial findings, the next step involved choosing the other electrode to pair with the aluminum and the electrolyte that would go between them to transport ions back and forth during charging and discharging process. Sulfur was picked as the second electrode component since it is the cheapest non-metal alternative. To finish the puzzle, this group of researchers decided to incorporate molten salt electrolyte in between the two electrodes. The reason for choosing molten salts as an electrolyte is because they're relatively low melting points compared to flammable organic liquids. One other interesting fact is this battery concept requires no external heat source to maintain its operating temperature. The heat is naturally produced electrochemically by the charging and discharging of the battery. Explaining this phenomenon, Professor Sadaway said, quote, as you charge, you generate heat and that keeps the salt from freezing. And then, when you discharge, it also generates heat. Professor Sadaway further stated that this new breed of batteries is suitable for single homes and small to medium businesses that require a few tens of kilowatt hours of storage capacity. However, according to the professor, for large-scale installations which require tens to hundreds of megawatt hours, other solutions might be more suitable. This research work was supported by the MIT Energy Initiative, the MIT Deshpande Center for Technological Innovation, and ENN Group. The company called Avanti, which was co-founded by Luis Ortiz and Professor Sadaway will be responsible for the development and marketing of this new battery technology.